Hello, Joyce and Anthony aka JJ here and with the release of Blender 2.93 beta I went in and played around with it and I found three new features to show you guys. The first new feature is a new fill feature so just to show you I'm going to go into Blender 2.92. So I just threw this, drew this squiggly line so pretend I wanted to color it and I accidentally colored outside the line. You remember the whole screen turns blue but now in 2.93 beta if I go in and I color it, that does not happen anymore. So I'm gonna try the hat. So there is a little tiny hole in it. You can't see it, but if I click it and it's not completely filled, you're gonna get an error message, unable to fill unlocked areas. So now when you're using this version, you have to make sure that this section is completely filled or the fill feature will not fill in the selected area. The second new feature is specific for Blender 2.93 beta. So just to show you, I'm gonna go in to 2.93 alpha. I don't know if you remember recently, um, the Grease Pencil team talked about the S SVG exporter. You're able to export Grease Pencil objects to SVB importer. So we go to file, export. I was not seeing it. But now if you go to 2.93 beta, you have to, what I noticed is you need to, I tried it the first time and as you can see, it's there, but it's not, you're not able to click on it. I was in draw mode. So you need to make sure that you're in object mode. And now when you find it, it is right there. So you can export your grease pencil as SVG and export your grease pencil as a PDF. The last new feature is the new features added to the grease pencil tools. So I just pressed in and that's how the sidebar appeared. And that's where you see the grease pencil tools on the top, right? To add it, you go to edit preferences, add on. And then in the search bar, I just typed in grease pencil and right there, you click on the object grease pencil tools. And that's how you get this grease pencil tool shortcut. So the two new features that were added is the two bottom ones. Save rotation and reset rotation. And this deals with the camera specifically. And I'm pretty sure um, 2.93 alpha has this feature too, if I'm not mistaken. So to do it, I just want to show you the original to show you what the camera looks like. You know, if I kind of zoom out. Okay, so pretend I, this is how I decide I want my camera to be. So the rotation, I, I'm gonna save it like that. But then I'm like, oh, actually I don't like it. So by pressing shortcut, control, alt, middle mouse button, I'm going to rotate it. And I'm actually rotating the camera, not the scene. And to show you what I mean, I'm gonna zoom out. As you can see, it's the camera that's rotated, not my scene of the woman. So pretend I'm doing that. I'm like, actually, I don't like my camera like this. So if I go back into camera view and then I click reset rotation, my camera will go back to its original rotation. So those are two new features that were added to the grease pencil tools. And this one is, it's not a new feature. You can always do that. But if you're ever curious about like the splash screen made by these amazing artists, um, there is a way that you actually can go in and get the blend file and you don't have to be a, a Blender Cloud member. So you go to the cloud, the Blender Cloud website, and then you go to libraries. Um, visit the gallery and then if you scroll down the art gallery see there's blender 2.92 show more weeks and if you keep scrolling down you'll be able to play I don't know how far it goes back but I know it goes back to 2.90 so pretend I wanted to know how this amazing artist Robin Tran made this scene 
because I know I I mean I do 2d but I, I'm trying to learn 3d too so if I just wanted I could click download and I could go in the blend file and see how this amazing artist made this well that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this is Joyce and Anthony aka JJ until next time